What's up YouTube? This is Jason with JCS Reefing and this is going to be a video on the Two Little Fishies Accuracy Salt. Um, this salt actually comes individually packaged. This is a 50 gallon box. You can also get, um, I believe, a 200 gallon box. Um, anyways, this 50 gallon box comes with a, a 10 pack of 5 gallon individually packed salts so normally my water changes are 15 gallons very simple filled up a bucket from home depot five gallons each filled three of them up marked the line with some super glue and i ended up starting to uh, pour in the salt i used a 20 gallon brute can which i normally have used uh, this time is just a little different i just kind of marked everything off so to make it easier for myself, I can basically just, you know, fill this up to that line where the super glue mark is, dump in a uh, three gallon or three bags of salt, I should say, and be done. Previous videos probably shown that I have markings on my tank um, for a 15 and a 10 gallon water change. Normally my water changes are 15 gallons every, uh, I don't know, about a month, three month, uh, three weeks or a month or so. So what I did is just dropped in a pump here and I grabbed the salt and I'm going to use three bags, you know, five gallons per bag. And uh, what I do like about this is everything's individually packed. So you don't get any clumps. You don't get any, you know, here in Houston is pretty humid. So when I have a bucket full of salt and maybe I don't cap it all the way, it, um, you know, just it gets clumpy and it, it just doesn't work well. So. These individual bags are really nice, especially if I maybe just needed to do just a quick five gallon water change, just grab a bag, fill up a five gallon bucket, pour it in, mix it, done. But I wanted to see how quick this stuff actually mixed and the salinity and the alkalinity that it claims to be. So that's basically what this video is about. So I took three bags, poured it in, told Alexa to start the timer. 15 minutes, starting now. And that's about it. So I gave it about 15 minutes to mix. I had two little pumps. One's a MaxiJet 1200. The other one is, you know, just a really cheap pump off of Amazon. And after 15 minutes, you can see it mixed, you know, pretty darn clear. Uh, to do myself, you know, justice, I always overdo stuff. So I pretty much let this salt mix for a total of 25 minutes and uh, made sure there was no clumps or you know dead spots on the bottom of the brute can. I grabbed my little tester bottle here. I squirted it onto the refractometer and it came out to be 1.025 right about. Um, now I think the website says 1.026, but I mean, I might have put a little too much water or so on and so forth. Anyways, this is the contraption I used to fill the bucket. So now I use, you know, basically this, uh, I think it's an eShops thing, a float switch that I can just set the level and let that thing fill up. Once it hits that fill up, I just put in the three bags, mix it all up, boom, done. So the next step as you're seeing here is I'm basically using the Hannah checker to check the alkalinity. Now, the reading on this, I believe online, um, says that it should be 8 dKH, which is, you know, pretty good. Some of your other salts, they elevate, they elevate that, um, you know, for reef tanks and whatnot. Um, I've seen it as high as 12. So I was hoping to find something in between uh, like 8 and 9. And um, it actually really did, didn't disappoint. Now, I'm sure they use lab grade stuff, you know, <laughs> being two little fishies and Julian Sprung and whatnot. Um, so the Hannah Checker is going to give me a good idea. And it actually came back with a test result of um, 8.7, which I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, that's that's kind of right where I want to run my tank. Normally, I try to keep my tank about 8.5. So for my application, this salt works out really well. 15 gallons of water, three bags of salt, mixes up quickly, boom, done. 
Now, if anyone has any children or friends, get them involved in this hobby young and early because it's the future of reefing and that's all it's all about. Watching my daughter grow with this tank is absolutely awesome. Cheers and happy reefing.